Uh, what's going on everybody and welcome back to San Andreas and this is uh, whatever part this is <laughs> and this part Oh, man, we're doing the final races of uh, San Andreas So here's how I like to think of these races over here at the airport Which is unlocked after the verdant meadows, which doesn't make sense because these are the flying checkpoint things And you should be able to fly an aircraft, you know after you know flight school, you know what I mean? But it, but we can fly as early as Verdant Meadows, I guess, unless you sneak into the airport, you know, at the big Easter Bay Airport when you're still in San Fierro and steal the helicopter. That's what I like to do. Or I just like to sneak into the LS Airport and fly the Dodo and the Shamel. But the only problem with that is it's hard to land and, you know, you don't have a pair, you don't, you don't get an auto parachute until after the flight school. But anyways, that's besides the point. So what I, how, I like to think of these rate these things kind of like the collectibles in the game. You know, you got Los Santos tags, San Fierro snapshots, and uh, Los Venturas horseshoes. And for the whole map, you got oysters. And then you get LS races, San Fierro races, and Los Venturas street races. And these are the races that I like to think are for the whole entire map. Like, it's not, like, sure, they're, they're located, they're started in Los Venturas at the Los Venturas airport. It makes sense, but, um, um, but it's like a races that it's like flying races that are all around the map and um, yeah you got three one, three plane ones and then three helicopter ones and I'm gonna do the plane one that's the most difficult for me to beat which is military service this one's long as hell and on PC it's easy but on PS2 it's hard I don't know why but I see PC players having an easier time than I do I don't I don't know why that is plus ah my mic got stuck. Well, my mic got stuck. And it's like, this thing flies too fast, so what I like to do is uh, not hold the accelerator. Uh, you, like, it's like the Dodo in GTA 3, you don't hold the accelerator and this thing still flies. So, military service, this is the hardest one to do, I think, cause, just because this thing flies so fast. And if I crash, if I crash and fuck up one of the wings, then I'm, I'm screwed, because... Uh, I need the wings to fly properly because I had to do this one time with a busted wing because I didn't want to do it over I would just usually say fuck it and do it over but I didn't want to so see yeah we're flying the Hydra again last time we've flown it was a vertical bird but we got two excuses to fly the Hydra in the game in order to get 100% completion oh Jesus Christ see even if you like touch it a little bit it'll still count Oh, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, fuck. See what I mean? Oh, Jesus. Uh... No, don't crash it. Don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. <laughs> that was so close to going in the water. I just gotta turn this around now. Okay. Where am I? Where are we? Alright. That was, that was good. That was straight. So, yeah, I want no music for this because I'm trying to concentrate. I might fuck up. It's, I mean, the first part, it's okay, but once you go back into the desert, I really fuck up because there's such a tight bridge there that it's so hard to fly through, and I just, yeah. Okay. Over the San Fierro Bay ship. Yeah, this is the last time we're going to be in the, the country. This is the last part where we're going to be in the countryside. The desert, San Fierro, and Los Venturas. This is the last part it, around the whole map before we're like chained to Los Santos, you know what I mean? Okay, where's the next one? Oh god, I'm losing control. This is not good! Oh Jesus Christ, I'm not. I'm losing control. Where's the next one? Oh my lord. <laughs> Alright. Uh. Hold on, I need, I need to go in helicopter mode just to see where the next one is. Stop flying that way! Alright, I'm gonna stay in helicopter mode when going under the bridge, because it's so risky. Like, flying this thing is so risky because it's super fast. I know there was a guy who did Hydra stunts, like, between the Kincaid and Garver Bridge, and even, even through the freaking car park in Los Venturas, you know, the, the one that's near the camel's toe. Like, I, I thought that was pretty in- Oh god, don't crash into the windmill. I thought that was pretty impressive. So I'm just gonna go slowly through here. Because it's what I need to do. Because this, this area gives me fear. Oh 
I don't think I'm still good. I think I got more uh, more things to worry about. All right, I'm gonna go back into jet. So this is the hardest plane one. There's another hard plane one. Uh, the one with the wrestler is the easiest. And you fly near Area 69, but not through it, so... See, I'm taking a long time to do this one. I just hope I do it on the first try, because I'm really not about to fail and die, you know. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not holding the thing down, because, you know, it's a bad idea. And I still, I still don't know why. I could take, I could take guesses, but I don't know, like, the 100% reason why, as to why, um, this thing looks so much easier for PC players. Like, I, when I saw Hugo One uh, do it, because he's a, he's a, like, a streamer. He, he a live streamer. He does, you know, he does a lot of 100% GTA San Andreas. When I saw him do that, do this one, he, like, did it with ease, and so did this guy, Bad Infos, on YouTube. Jesus Christ. Uh... God damn I hate, I hate, oh god. It's the fastest plane. It's not, it's not like it's the hardest con to control, but like, because it's so fast, it's, it's, it can be tough to control, that's what I mean. And I hate how, like, when you transition from, from the desert to either the countryside or San Fierro, you still got d desert, uh, sandstorms, which don't make sense, but, but yeah, now we're going into San Fierro. Uh, okay. Okay. Where's the- I can't even- I could- I- dude, I could not see that. I can't- dude, I can't see a thing! What is this? I can't- I can't see- how, why does it have to be like this now? I can't see- I can- I literally cannot see where it is. I cannot see where it is. Where- okay. This is bullshit. You can't see the- I can't see the checkpoints now. And we're flying over ocean flats, that's where we are. Yeah, have to fly slow now or else I'm gonna lose them. This takes this race takes the longest to do, I swear. This is this video's gonna take like forty minutes to an hour, I really don't know. See I'm actually flying pretty fast in helicopter mode actually I can go back to jet, I think. All right, so yeah, I wasn't saying anything there. I was just thinking, but uh, did military service in six minutes? That was oh my god! Uh, if you guys sat all through all the all of those six minutes, good job. So we started the airstrip and end at Mount Chiliad. So that was military service. Now let's do the second most toughest uh, plane race, and that's barnstorming. And I'm afraid I'm gonna die here because this is this plane is clunky, if you know what I mean. It's just it if it. it, it, it it does loop de loop so easily. It, it you know flips so easily. Does barrel roll so easily, and it just flies everywhere so easily. Just kind of like the helicopter in GTA Vice City, the VCN Maverick, which it's it's still like that in this game. But we're gonna fly it in this game, and I'll tell you more about it when we actually do it in this part. I mean, but so this is the race with the stunt plane. Load. Thank you. Yeah. So we start at Easter Bay Airport, and the fucking thing doesn't load. And I'm doing this at night. I don't know if that's good. But yeah, I'm doing this race at night. <sighs> oh Jesus, okay. Oh god. Ah. Oh god. I don't like flying over the water, but flying over the ground is worse. So this is another long ass race. God, so it's, I, I, I don't know what that has to do with the sensitivity, because I feel like the sensitivity only has to do with aiming, and I guess driving in some cases, but mostly sensitivity on PS2 is applied to aiming, like I, I don't, I, like I never thought that it would be applied to flying as well, I don't know, it, it kind of depends how good of a pilot we are, which I'm a pretty decent pilot, but when it, when it comes to flying through checkpoints, like I'm not so good. Like, there, there is a flying race in uh, GTA Vice City Stories with uh, this this version of the plane in that game called the biplane. Like, this is, this is, this is basically a biplane, but uh, it's called a stunt plane in this game. In GTA Vice City Stories, there's a plane race with the... Uh, 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 oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, shit. All right. Well, 
All right. Well, at least I have Katie. I have Katie as a girlfriend, so. Yeah. Okay. I'll pick it back up where I left off. At least you know when I die, I end up right here. So. Okay. So first fail of the video. Let's do that shit again. At least I. At least the, the hospitals were literally outside the airport. That's so convenient. So yeah. All right. First of all. What happens when you accidentally say that you had Katie as a girlfriend uh, instead of Michelle because Michelle was my actual girlfriend? What happens? You get to redo military service because I did actually lose all my weapons. And second of all, what the fuck t type of weather is this? This... I'm just... I'm pissed off right now. This is taking me a long time. This is only the fucking second one. I, and I can't see anything. I, I can't. I literally can't see anything. I can't do anything about it now. Like not even a cheat, cause uh, so I can't see if I'm gonna crash into a tree and shit. Like this goes through the countryside woods, so that's why it's called barnstorming, I guess. But this is literal barnstorming, cause like the fucking oh my god. Wow. I can't, I, dude. I can't, this is so unfair, dude. Get off, get, get the fuck out of here. Fuck this fucking game, man. I'm. <sighs> All right, now we're, now we have clear weather, I think. Got countryside trees on my fear. Don't crash. I can't see. God, I hate when it's lower like that. All right, yeah. I'm just pissed because I have a certain amount because I'm not I, I I don't have all day to do this and I need to do it today because I, I haven't uploaded a video in quite a bit. So, so yeah, we also flew this uh, same exact plane where we were doing the barrel roll and uh, loop to loop tests in uh, flight school. And yeah, this is a long race all throughout the country. And yeah, I'm not gonna say I like plane races, but as I was saying, uh, there was a race in Vice City Stories that, but the biplane, which is like this plane, because it, you know, looks identical, I, I think. It's, it's just, um, the biplane in that game is, uh, is way slower and way easier to fly, so therefore the checkpoint race in that game with that plane is, is way easier. It's like the easiest one. Unlike with the skimmer, which is actually fast in the game, that's pretty hard, especially that it's not so much like the checkpoints, it's just so much like where the checkpoints are located, I think. And it's starting to get, oh god, it's starting to get foggy again, I think. Which is not good. Oh no. <coughs> oh no. We're gonna, we're getting towards the end now. We still gotta take a right here and then, and then we come all the way back to the Easter Bay Airport. So yeah, I'm not the best pilot. I'm, I'm decent, I'm just, I'm not the best pilot. Yeah, I guess. When it comes to flight school, I, I could do flight school because it's just, you know, a circle around the desert. I don't, I don't know why people find, uh, I, I don't know why people find flight school so hard because it's literally, like, you find flight school hard, try doing these shits, like, like, seriously. Like, the, I think the mission NOE is even, oh god, is even harder. Uh, I started to worry there because my plane was about to flip and I was getting low. God, play it. Ah! Ah, fuck, fuck. You see what I mean when I say planes are my fear? Oh, I got the checkpoint and I didn't even realize. Don't crash. God, I feel like there's like invisible... Invis... And now... Ah! And now I'm... Ah, great. Things are great. I'm losing control and it's foggy again. I can't see the next one. Alright. Over Blueberry. Jesus Christ. Christmas. Why does it have to be this foggy? I'm definitely not doing the next race like this, because... Yeah, I'm gonna do all the plane races, and then all, all of the, uh... Get, get, get over there! Uh, without turning too much, like, there's no, there's no... You got no choice to get over there but to turn too much, you know what I mean? Alright, I think we're close to the end. I cannot see Jack. 
anymore. Oh, jeez. Ah! No! No! Oh my god, I almost crashed in the water. I literally screamed. I literally screamed of fear, fear right there. Because I almost crashed in the water. But we're done. Oh my god. Whew. Now I'm going to go save because there's no way I can do the next race in this condition. And I have... Face palm. Face palm. Please don't tell me that lasts. Okay, guys, wish me luck. Wish me luck! Yay! I didn't mean to fly over fucking... I didn't mean to do that. Alright, wish me luck, guys. I'm going back to the hideout to save. Alright, next plane race is World War Ace. It's not really a plane race, because like, you're not racing against others. It's just more like plane checkpoint challenges, you know what I mean? So this is with a wrestler. I think this is the easiest one, even though I have fucked this one up in the past. Starts at Los Santos International, and um, yeah, and it's with a wrestler. I don't, I don't know how much better this is gonna be, but we'll see. We'll see. And I'm doing this at night. I'm not sure if that's the best idea, but you know, I have to. So this one's, sh uh, so the route of this uh, race is uh, shaped like a dick. Yeah, it's shaped like a dick because. Or an egg, or an eggplant, I really don't know. I'd say eggplant, it's, it's shaped like an eggplant, the, the route of this race, when, as you see it on the board. So we fly over the Vinewood sign. Now here's something, here's something about this race that's, uh, that's definitely gonna, um, that, that, are def that is definitely gonna make me look stupid. Now I thought, I thought this race went into Las Venturas. I don't know why, but every, every time I flew over I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys when I get there, but we're in, the, we're in the process of turning around to go to Los Santos. I don't know why I thought that, uh... Oh my god, fly. Yeah, it's raining right now. Man, it's also raining outside right now, too. Jesus Christ, I wasn't paying, I wasn't paying attention. All right, we're back in control. Now, when I got into this area, I don't know why I thought this was Las Venturas. Because uh, I looked at it on the map, and I was like, this one doesn't go into Las Venturas, but I was like, this goes in Las Venturas. Because I didn't, re I, I, I barely recognized, I barely recognized what was at the bottom, but no, this is Los Santos. And we end where we started at the uh, uh, airport, the Los Santos International Airport. And just like the street races we do, we get $10,000 for each one we win, so we right back where we started. And that's all the... Now I'm going to go save one more time, because, yeah, I have to. Because the, the next one, which I plan to get over, is the... Uh, so we've done three, all the plane races, and we got... So we got three plane races and three helicopter ones, which the helicopter ones are the only ones left. But I'm going to go save again, because the next helicopter... Because I plan to do the hardest helicopter one, because the other two are easy, but... Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back here, and I'm almost max muscle, wow. Before we begin with this next race, in the last part, I threw, I tried to throw a satchel at the bike, I, what, what I thought was a bike anyway, uh, when I failed uh, Desert Tricks, which is the race uh, in the desert with the FCR 900, and when I fell off, I was like, I'm just gonna redo it, so I threw a satchel on it, but I, uh, but it wasn't actually on the bike, it was on a tree that I thought was the bike, and I never exploded that satchel. Yeah, never exploded that satchel. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what the hell's up with that, but here we are, I'm gonna get the hardest helicopter race out of the way, which is Heli Hell, and this is literally Heli Hell. I like the way that's uh, shaped, I like the way the route is shaped, it's kind of, it's like a snowman, I guess, but, uh, you start it. You start on a helipad at, at the Los Santos International, and I never knew this helipad existed. I, I just started this race and and learned, hey, there's a helipad on the Los Santos International Airport building. So yeah, this one's with the Hunter, and the other two helicopter races are easy, but this one sucks. It's because it's with the Hunter, and it's a it's a fast it's a fast. Uh, Helicopter, and in, ex in exchange for that, it's also a very hard helicopter to control. It's not, it's not hard to control when, uh, when, when just flying normally. But I feel like it's, it's hard to control when, 
going through checkpoints, especially tight checkpoints like this. Like, why the fuck is that checkpoint between face and facing, like, between those two buildings? You see that? And, like, when you try to mingle your way out of buildings, and I already hit a building, and it wasn't even for a good reason. Like, it's, it's between a lot of buildings, which is tight to squeeze out of, and it's under a lot of bridges, and that's why this is heli hell. And it's hard to control it after, and you have to gain control of the X button. And it's just, this is a hard, this is a hard race to do. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I always fuck up here, so you want to be careful. And I plan, and I, like I said, I want to have, and I still hit the building, I think. Uh, stop hitting the building. See what I mean? See what I mean? And then you go that way and I you, you and and then you turn the direction of where the building is and then you start to fly in that direction and then hit the building. It's just this race is a mess. That's why they call it Helly Hell cuz yeah, but seriously, it's it's really it's literally Helly Hell. It, like if there if there was a like another mission name besides this one that literally describes the experience like if you know what I mean, it, it would also be gripped in GTA 3, because it's indeed gripped. And you fly under and then over the Mulholland intersection here, and it's just, yeah, a lot of bridges in your face, it's just a mess. A lot of buildings and bridges in your face, this, this one's a mess. So, yeah. And yeah, I have to say, I have to save before this one because I couldn't uh, risk, you know, because I, because I have fucked up in this one before. My helicopter became too damaged. My hunter, yeah, my hunter became too damaged, and uh, get it. The hunter became too damaged, and I had to, I think, bail, and then, or I think I died. I think I, I think I died because I was, I was hitting too many things, and the, and it, 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 the helicopters explode just like planes do. And, you know, where it explodes multiple times, the explosions are more powerful and dangerous, and they have a bigger blast radius, but, uh, I don't know if it's just me, I don't know if it happens in the other games, but, but at least, uh, at least the checkpoints are easy to get, like, you don't even have to fly through them, like, through the direction, like, you don't have to, like, you don't have to, like, start on one side of the checkpoint and then come out of the other side of the checkpoint, you just have to, you don't, you just have to touch the checkpoint, and then you're good. Like, you can even, like, touch the tip of it. Like, the very, very edge, edgy tip of it. And then it's, it still counts as good. So, yeah. So, yeah, I think we're coming close to an end here. So, yeah. Ah! God damn. So yeah, I don't, yeah, when your helicopter starts to get damaged, it starts to, you know, become quieter, it starts to make a lower uh, blade sound, like the both the Maverick and Hunter will do, it, that will happen if your helicopter becomes damaged, it just starts to make a, uh... Don't, don't, see what I mean? Like, you fly, you fly too fast near a building and it's just hard to control yourself afterwards. It's just a mess. Like, this checkpoint, look at this checkpoint. It's literally between two buildings, yet facing that way. Like, damn, I think that's why they made the checkpoints easier to collect if you just touch any part of it. And they just wanted to face the checkpoints to the next direction of the next checkpoint, so yeah. So yeah, of course, it's it's the Hunter. It's still a fun helicopter to, to fly. Probably the best one to fly, because uh, it's got machine guns and rockets, so... Yeah, but it, it does look different, like Vice City Stories, Liberty City Stories, surprisingly, after that discovery last August, and, uh, um, and, uh, Vice City, uh, like, like, all their models of the Hunter have, uh, uh, have, like, two doors, well, it's, like, one C, but it's two doors, one on each side, but in this game, it's, it's, a it's, the, it's, like, different, because you can only get in on, on the left side, and, like, the, the entrance to the hunter it looks different in this game so yep winner ten thousand dollars and now it's just easy helicopter races from here so now i'm gonna do chopper checkpoints this is just an all desert uh, uh maverick race or checkpoint thing this is with the maverick so yeah this one's easy 
the, the normal helicopter ones are easy because it because it doesn't require you to do like anything fucking insane like fly under bridges and tight buildings you know what I mean so but you do have to turn quickly like that and then and quickly to the left so yeah All right, let me turn this off because I did get copyright for that one time. So yeah, just easy, clean sailing from there. So yeah, while I do this boring chopper checkpoint race, I don't know what to talk about other than I did start school like weeks ago, you know, senior year in high school, 12th grade, so. Let me think. Uh, Oh yeah, um, when I did when I did breaking the bank at Caligula's, that was my first day of school, and I came home and just recorded that video right after, which is such a nice feeling, you know. After you come home from hell, you just do something you love, such as this. And and I, I, stay tuned for this uh, for all my uh, fellow youngins who are still in school, because I'm still in school too. But uh, I just I hate school. Okay, um, I just. Oh, let me turn, I'll turn the radio off for this, but I just, I don't like school, like, like, it's where, it's where all my friends are, and, yeah, but it's just also, like, friends who, who I thought were my friends, but, like, I don't even know if they are my friends anymore, I just, I don't like school, because, like, every time I'm in it, I just, I don't feel happy, like, not like a depression kind of happy, but just, I, I don't feel, I don't feel happy in school, like, I try to be happy, I, I try to be happy in school, like, it's not like I'm trying to not, be happy in school because I'm because uh, like I want to be happy in school but like I, every time I'm there it's always either just cold or hot or just very uncomfortable and I, I I just start to get a feeling of you know mopiness and just I I'm just I'm am I'm never ha I'm, I'm never happy in school it's it's hard to have a lit time in school. And it's just I try to be myself you know in school but. Yeah, I'm, o I'm, I'm just always so bored in school, and just, it, after after you've been in school so much, you just want to get the hell out of there, like, and, and during the summer, like, I, w I was like, um, like damn, I, I, this is so boring, I just want to go back to school just to see people, but just maybe that first week, after that first week, I'm like, yeah, goodbye, I don't want to do this shit anymore, and by the way, I'm, you know, I'm just talking because there's nothing else to talk about because these are just boring chopper checkpoint races that are that are going to give me no trouble at all because, you know, you can actually control a helicopter, at least this helicopter. The Hunter is a little hard to control, but at least you can tr control helicopters like the, uh, you know, this one and the next and the next one as well. Because planes you cannot control. You cannot control planes because you keep flying forward and it's just hard to control planes. But helicopters you can control because at least you can land them. And yeah, all that shit. So yeah. And uh, off topic, I just uh, I really like the the way the uh, the helicopter sounds in this game. Just you know, Vice City. I feel like it sounds more like a realistic helicopter. And speaking of that, what I got teased last year. I got teased last year by this helicopter because. Uh, because they showed a fake Vice City Stories for mobile trailer, which that game still isn't out. I, I better come out this year if not. Uh, but yeah, they they used like a San Andreas and they used San Andreas's engine for it, and uh, it wasn't. Uh, and uh, they showed a helicopter flying in Vice City, but it was using San Andreas's sound. Now, just to be safe, because these races are pretty long, I'm just gonna make a cut so uh, so my video so the video doesn't cut in the middle of the race. So I'll see you guys in one sec. All right, now this last one is called Whirly Bird Waypoint, and it's start and, it, and it's all in San Fierro. So this is legitimately our last time in San Fierro, guys. So after this, we're kissing it goodbye. I'm sad to say, but but no, no, we're still gonna come here for. Uh, we're, but don't worry, it's not like it's not like you guys will. It's not like it'll be m the last time that you guys will see San Fierro. In this, it, it'll be the last time in this LP, but not the last video that I do on it because I'm still coming back here. Uh, because I'll still definitely be coming back here for fun police rampages and chases. I'll still be doing, like, you know, police chases in San Fierro and all over the rest of the map. So that's coming. That's coming. I'm still doing lots of bonus videos for San Andreas. Lots of them since there's so much to this game. 
you don't even know, but uh, this is the uh, San News helicopter. So in uh, Vice City, uh, uh, so it's still, it flies better in this game, I will say, I hit the, as I hit the underneath the Garver Bridge, but I, I will say the news helicopter flies better in this game, because, um, well, in Vice City, it was just, you know, hell to control. I feel like the choppers in this game uh, control way better than they did in Vice City. But Vice City, Vice City's was very, very, Vice City's uh, new VCN Maverick was very, very clunky to fly. And it's clunky to fly in this game, too. But uh, in this game, the version of it is, the, it's called the News Chopper. Like, literally, in the, the name of this vehicle is called the News Chopper. And it's supposed to, it's supposed to be uh, uh, based off of the VCN Maverick from uh, Vice City. So, yeah, except... There's, except there's no parking location for this, so there's only two ways in this entire game to get it, and that's one, to, to just uh, dit to start this race and then ditch it after by just flying to the desert airfield and parking it inside the the aircraft hangar, and then just waiting for the race to end, and then you will, will, will have obtained the uh, news chopper that way. Or there's another incredibly amazing way to obtain it. So during four stars, uh, the, so during four stars, this vehicle will follow you. It doesn't attack you; it just follows you. Cause I, I, I bet the news uh, chopper just follows you uh, during four stars, it's just to be like, just to copy the news, just to you know cover the cover the police rampage or chase whatever live, uh, you know, while the camera is pointed at Carl throughout the whole thing while he's uh, being a maniac towards the police. So the, it doesn't attack Carl. This thing doesn't attack Carl during four stars, but the police maverick, which shows up during four stars at the same time that the news chopper does, does uh, does attack you. So um, yeah. So anyways, my point. Uh, the the second way of obtaining it is is go to the top of the pyramid where the horseshoe is located in Los Venturas at the Camel's Toe, the the Luxor thing, the Luxor Hotel based off of, and just go to the top of that. Um, the top of the pyramid and you have to be really fast like once the helicopter you gotta move down a bit and once the the news chopper is so close to the top of the pyramid you want to run up and then press triangle and then you will have uh, obtained the uh yeah and then you can actually steal it in the air you can steal the news chopper in the air at the top of the pyramid in Los Venturas, which is so amazing I i've done it once maybe i'll show it in another video but all races are won, one, uh, one million dollars. And, yeah, I'm gonna show it at the end of this video, cause why not? But, so... Yeah, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna show, show it off. So, yeah. So yeah, after, after all races are won, you get one million dollars. That does go for the street races as well, it's not just, um... Not just, uh, for these races, it's literally all races. Street races and flying races combined. After all of them are done, you get one million dollars. Which is pretty useless at this point, but still, yeah. Still amazing. Now I'm gonna go to the... Hold on. Maybe I'll show it off at the begin. Yeah, I have to show it off at the beginning of the next part. I can't do it now, cause, uh, so... Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part where we do the sweet, the short, sweet, sweet mission strand of Los Santos. So we're going back to Los Santos. So I'll see you guys in the next part in Los Santos. Bye-bye.